Ragazzi, ancora notte che siamo sbazzi con voi da Game Legends c'è come Mike quindi di Niantic e quindi noi ci faremo qualche domanda su Ingress. So Mike, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So thanks yes. for coming in Rome. Yeah, thank you for having me. And the first question is uh, why choosing Rome for a big event in uh, on um, yeah. Ingress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, live events are a key part of yeah. our uh, strategy for Ingress. Um, Ingress celebrates its fourth year anniversary next Tuesday, November 15th. Good. And so the live events continue. Um, this is the Let's end go. of our uh, uh, Q4 event series and, and actually for the year. Um, it's called Via Noir. Um, we're, we're, we're moving the events back to be more late afternoon and into dusk because okay. uh, there's kind of a, a theme of, of light and dark uh, okay. in the storyline right now. And so we thought that would be appropriate to be in the streets of, of beautiful cities like Rome, um, Seoul, South Korea, uh, and Chicago, Illinois, among others, um, for this final weekend event. Okay. And so why Rome? Um, we have a real big uh, play ba player base in, in Italy. Um, We are very happy to be in cities like this because they're walkable cities. Lots yeah. of history, a lot of culture, you know. Um, you're familiar with the fact that um, the locations in the game, portals, which agents battle over, um, usually are places of historical, you know, significance, yeah. cultural relevance, creativity, um, and Rome is, is just quite flush with them, obviously. So, um, yeah, we're excited to be here, and uh, we think it's going to be a great day tomorrow. We'll have several thousand people out and about with us uh, tomorrow uh, to, to figure out who wins via Noir. Okay, and how is going to war? That's why what, what I was asking you. Yeah, yeah. So the the gameplay uh, rules they're, they're published, and all the all the um, operators are familiar with them. But it's basically a mix of. Um, controlling different clusters, um, as well as um, there's a hybrid gameplay, so there's also going to be uh, shards that you have to control. So it'll be a nice mix of gameplay, and um, we're excited to see you know which team comes out on top between the Resistance and the Enlightened. Okay, and um, back to the stars. I yeah. mean, how do you thought about um, Ingress? I mean, you are, for example, three years no, yes, three years ago. Years ago. Yeah. And uh, you th think about a new game with um, augmented reality. So how you think about the game? Yeah. Um, it's funny. The, the main mission of Niantic is actually adventures on foot with others. Okay. So at, at the core of what we're doing, we're trying to get people to explore and discover uh, their neighborhoods, their communities, and their cities. Um, we're trying to get them out and about, you know, get them, get them off the couch and out okay. in, in, in having... Um, you know, being able to discover things in their cities. And third, and more importantly, having a real-world social experience, like doing it with friends, having a shared experience. So um, that mission, you, you didn't hear us say, or we don't say that it's specifically an augmented reality mission. Okay. However, given those three things that we're trying to do, AR, um, and what we kind of consider light AR at this point, okay. um, is, is, is it really okay. is part and parcel with what we're doing. So um, the great thing about AR is that When we are trying to encourage people to go out and about and control territory, uh, yeah. portals and ingress, um, it's nice to have the digital overlays on these amazing places, you know, statues, uh, murals, um, places Parks. of historical significance, mm -hmm. exactly, um, that, you know, if you're on one team and I'm on the other, that we can battle for control over. And so um, AR does play a role there. We're fortunate that the computing power in mobile devices today allows us to do this okay. um, without having to wait for expensive peripherals or other, you know, devices and that sort of thing to come out yep. so um, you know in that regard we have a nice base offering um, that said I think some of the early um, steps uh, that will be taken beyond the phone include um, wearable technology so we made some early uh, did some early experiments with um, Google Glass with yeah, our field trip app that's what I want to ask you yeah next yeah. question <laughs> oh sorry yeah <laughs> But you, you think so about AR, for... and, and yeah, we, we did an early integration there, and, and even though Google Glass didn't have the commercial performance the company was hoping for, there's a lot of great lessons that we got from that. Um, you may also recall we did an early integration um, with Ingress on Android Wear, the V1 of the Android Wear devices, the, the LG and the Samsung yep. uh, watches. Um, and it, that was nice for us because it wasn't just about notifications, which a lot of apps were doing, yep. just notifying you, but there was gameplay. You know, you could hack a portal and, and do other game actions. So now you fast forward, you take that learning that we got in the early days at Niantic, and um, you see what we're doing with, with Pokemon Go. Yep. Um, Nintendo with the Pokemon Go Plus device. Um, it's been a very popular device. Um, you know, 
pretty reasonably priced and it's enhancing the gameplay. It, it, it leads to a more heads-up gaming experience. So you can be out and about walking, enjoying the city, the fresh air, um, and really noticing what's around you and then come back and see what you, you collected. You may have also heard um, that in September we announced an Apple Watch integration. Yep. And by the end of this year we will have Pokemon Go integrated on the Apple Watch. So to your question about what? AR, you know, Niantic's mission is not specifically about AR, but AR is a technology yeah. that we're able to, you know, bring to life what we want to do, which is to get people out and about having a shared experience in their cities, towns, and neighborhoods. Now, about Pokemon Go, I mean, yeah. are you minded to release the second generation of Pokemon? Uh, we're not sharing any details about uh, okay. Gen 2, and, and, or the gold and silver, rather. Um, but um, I know there's a lot of speculation out there. So. Okay, okay. And a lot of people ask me if uh, there will be an integration with other Nintendo stuffs. Is that um, possible, or is uh, that a plan? Masuda-san um, from Game Freak and, and, and John Hankey, um, our yep. CEO, they, they, they've talked about those kind of things, that those things you know, could be explored and could be considered. But um, again, nothing specific, specific to share, but it is a possibility. We have a very close relationship with Nintendo, with the Pokemon company, um, and those are the kind of things that you know, can, can be discussed uh, between the teams, but nothing to share today. Okay. Yeah. Do you used to play Ingress or Pokemon Go? Oh yeah, I play both. Yes, I'm a Resistance agent and okay. I'm also on Team Mystic. <laughs> So I've kind of got a little blue thing going. Okay. okay. <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite Pokemon? Oh, my favorite Pokemon. Jeez, it's got to be Snorlax. I mean, he's just—he's a, <laughs> a funny guy. I don't have one yet, but uh, I'm still—I'm still trying to find my first. I get my first one from the the egg. Did you get it from the egg? Yeah, yeah ten kilometer egg. It's really, nice. pretty, pretty strong. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. And that's all about. And nothing more, because um, for us it's good for this. Yeah. And, uh, that's fine. Thank you very much for everything. My pleasure. Yes. yes. Have a good fun. Here I have a question wrong? for you. Did did you participate in the Halloween promotion by any chance? Don't listen to the um, The Halloween promotion that we did, where okay. we had the nine spooky Pokemon uh, at the end of last ah, month. Yeah, did yeah, you participate uh, um, in that? I played with uh, a lot of a lot of gang girl, a lot of uh, yeah, exactly. Pokemon Gasly around uh, Gasly, mm -hmm. okay, and Zubat, a lot of Zubat. <laughs> I hate you <laughs> too much Zubat in my town because I'm not here from Rome. I'm from um, Montrodondo, which is a small town nearby Rome. Ah, okay. And just uh, another question. Okay. Yes, sure. sure. All the players said that it's not um, so fair for people who lives in a small town uh, for the, the pop up of Pokemon, Pokemon for example. Uh -huh. And did you mind to resolve this? This. Uh, yeah, I mean, rural areas are, are one of the things we know that the you know whether it's an ingress, you know, we can call it portal density, yeah, you know, or, or lack thereof, okay. uh, or and or gym density in the case of yeah. Pokemon Go. Um, uh, yeah, th those are lighter, um, partly because there's just less absolute types of, of, of locations yeah. for us to um, be able to integrate into the game. But it's a focal point for us. We want to try to make sure that the game, um, obviously in major metros, um, you know, it's a it's a more natural fit for us just because there's so many types of locations with public artwork and um, trails and parks and things like that. But but we know rural areas, you know, need more uh, things to do, and, and that's definitely something that we're trying to, to, to make better. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank yes. you so much. Ragazzi, tutto quanto per adesso, ci vediamo alla prossima intervista, un saluto da Game Legends.